Hi, I'm Ben Barker, Energy Marketing Manager with Placer County Water Agency. Today we are in the American River watershed conducting our April 1st snow survey. Each month, from January to May, we survey PCWA's four snow courses to measure the snow water content of the snowpack in the American River watershed. So far, this winter has been boomer bust. Water year 2022 started off promising, with near record precipitation totals for October and December. Unfortunately, this was followed with record low precipitation totals for January, February, and March. Additionally, the record heat observed in March accelerated the melting of the snowpack quicker than we would have hoped. Well, let's go out and see what the measurements have to say about the outlook for this year. Each of the four snow courses are made up of 10 survey points along a dedicated transect. We do manual surveys using a specialized tube and a scale to collect and measure the depth and weight of the snow, essentially its density, or how much water it contains, which gives us the snow water content of the snowpack. One. Zero. The April 1st survey is considered the most important because it's typically when winter snowpack is at its peak before the warmer weather comes and speeds up the snowmelt. These surveys help us plan how to manage the storage and release of water from our reservoirs into the American and Rubicon rivers for our customers, recreational releases for rafting, our hydroelectric project, and to meet environmental needs. Now that we've collected the data, Let's take a look and see what it means for PCWA's water supply. Based off of today's measurements, the results from our four snow courses show an average snow water content of 10 inches, yielding a snow water equivalent of 32% of normal for the April 1st survey. Although the snow water equivalent is low by historical standards, there is a silver lining. Remember all that rain from last October? It was good because it saturated the soils before the snow came in December. You can see the increase here. So as the snow melts, it's not going to soak into the soils as quickly as it did last year, providing more runoff into the rivers and reservoirs for the Middle Fork project. So even with the declining snowpack and below normal conditions, Middle Fork project reservoirs are still at 90% of average for April 1st. Ultimately, this means that PCWA remains in a position to effectively meet its customers' water demands and meet all environmental and recreational objectives, as well as providing clean hydroelectric energy from the Middle Fork Project to the California Electric Grid as we head into the summer months. Learn more about our commitment to providing reliable water supplies at pcwa.net.